All right, here we go. Okay, so uh, this is the comparison no one asked for. Nobody wanted, <laughs> but we're going to do it anyways. Okay, we're doing the, uh, as you can see, the Lucchese versus Red Wing. So it is the Lucchese Roper versus the Red Wing Roper. Um, this is the 8188 in here, and this is the um, Comanche, Comanche um, Roper, Bannock Roper by Lucchese. Today I am wearing the Rios of Mercedes um, Mustang Roper, um, green Mustang Roper. They're like socks now, to be honest with you. So they wash the leather on this boot, and so it came quite soft. And then, if you remember, I um, treated it with, uh, what did I put on it? Lexol, I think I put Lexol on it to darken it. Um, and I've worn them quite a bit, and they are ridiculously soft now, like socks. Grouper still here. Um, <laughs> we've had, since Grouper, we've had uh, three in total. Uh, Lily, who got adopted, Grouper's brother um, was Koi, he got adopted, and Grouper's still here. Oh, the other thing is, what I put in the title, or what I was thinking of putting in the title, is um, Lucchese versus Red Wing, or Red Wing versus Lucchese, Roper versus Roper, um, and why I wouldn't buy another Lucchese Roper. It's two things. It's the heel and the leather sole. Um, that's why I would not buy. I, I have maybe five, six um, Lucchese Ropers, and I think I'm good. I won't buy any more. Um, it's the leather sole. And it is the heel, and it's basically just a 10-inch um, Chelsea. So I think I'm good. No more Lucchese Ropers for me. Okay, so let's get into the comparison. So with the Lucchese, at least the Bannock, you open the box, you get a beautiful uh, bag, boot bag, and then you have your boot. All right, so just as the initial comparison, we can do that. Red Wing, <laughs> you get the boot and a piece of paper, <laughs> wrapped in paper. Uh, they keep it very simple. <laughs> okay, so basically, uh, I, I, bought, I wanted to do this comparison, and uh, truth be told, I already shot uh, the on feet for this last year, and so I've been sitting on it for quite some time. Yeah, let's we'll talk about that. <laughs> so like I I shot part of, part of this already. I just, just now getting uh to the on camera review side by side. Both similar in color. Um so that's why I wanted to do the, to do this comparison because you know I've already had I've had these for quite some time and wore these quite a lot and I've had other um Luke Ace Ropers, but I wanted to wait to compare these two particular because they're so similar. Um basically Honestly, what it comes down to is, um, as I don't know if it's, uh, if I, maybe, maybe it's used here, but it's, it's horses for courses is basically what it comes down to. It's fine to have both or one or the other. It all depends on what and how you're going to use and wear the boot. Okay. So. We'll start with the uh, the Red Wing. Um, I don't think I've, I've ever done a full review on these. If you want, I've done a review on these. You can find it, the Lucchese um, Brannock in the sand. Um, I've done a full review um, total, so you can find that. These I've not reviewed. Um, I was going to review these last year, and then the whole thing happened with the coronavirus, and a trip got canceled, and all that stuff killed that review and then all this other stuff happened <laughs> and I was just like I, I started wearing other brands and it just got out of control <laughs> so the 8188 kind of was just like whoop kind of fell off um, but let's go ahead with the 8188 this is the um, Hawthorne um, rough out which you know I love a rough out and I'm a huge fan of the Hawthorne uh, this is nine inch, a nine inch roper um, with the natural cork sole. This is not leather lined. This is um, 
canvas lined, and these boots come in an e-width. Okay, um, so we'll start there with that. Now going to the Lucchese. The Lucchese is um, ten inches, and it has a round uh, heel, roper, roper heel. Uh, I'm sorry, roper toe, round toe, roper heel, which is basically a walking heel. Um, very similar to this, just a, a walking heel, very comfortable. And uh, this one, take out the, the innards, is leather lined, making it much softer in the inside. Um, and there's something else. Oh, this comes in a D width and an E width. And this is, they call this suede. So this is, although it does feel, let's see. Yeah, this feels thicker, um, but not by much. On the toe, on the vamp, the definitely the red wing is thicker. And so the red, the red wing is basically, you're just, you know, uh, turning the, the leather inside out and having the rough out. If this is a suede and this is not a rough out, basically they're shaving layers off of it. So I'm making it thinner, which I can tell. These both are, um, are bovine. Now, let's get into the interesting part is now like what use you would have for them so for me this one um as i think i stated when i did the on feet last year <laughs> what i can remember um this one is like perfect for going out to the bar hanging out uh going to dinner with the old lady um kind of if you're if you work in a in an office um this to me is is great for that this one also hanging out with the fellas going to the bar but you could also actually cut the grass in these do some work around the yard um, even if you wanted to work in, in the garage on your car uh, you could use the uh, wear these because of the uh, the cork sole um, although it's not super grippy um, it's a lot better than the leather sole it's going to give you a little bit more traction um, than, than um, this leather sole. I would give this one the, the check for basically the sole. This one would get a plus. Um, yeah. Just for that, like, like I said, horses for courses. Um, you, can you can wear these and then take them off and you're like going out to dinner with the old lady. You can throw these on. The old lady won't even know. <laughs> she won't even know the difference <laughs> um, because they're you know, quite similar in the leathers. Um, we can look at the toes together here. You can see, actually, I'll do that when I do a close-up. We'll do like a comparison of like the toes and stuff. But yeah, this is uh, much dressier, a bit more style with this one. And this one is just like a, a cool shop boot. Uh, you can actually do, you know, some proper work in there. Well, no steel toe, but you know what I mean? Um, you can get away with, with wearing these, but if you wanted to just, you know, like more style and, and, uh, hanging out and not worrying about, um, getting too mucked up, these are, uh, these are for you. Um, so let's take a closer look. And we'll just go into some of these details of uh, the Roper versus Roper. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on with this comparison and we'll do a close up. Um, just also a quick mention uh, these are 500 bucks um, if you can still find them. Uh, these are 300 and I want to say 330, 329, somewhere around there. Uh, these you probably can't find. Uh, maybe you can find them on eBay. I, I bought three pairs of these. Um, I have one pair that I did, I kept as is, and then I did a stacked heel on one, a leather stacked heel on one, and then I did a, uh, a green sole on, on the other, um, which I did a doctor sole, green sole on the other. These um, you may be able to find, um, not on Lucchese's site because they were limited, but you can find them elsewhere. Uh, I think maybe a Yeehaw Cowboy may have them. Um, where else have I seen them? 
Kimo Sabe, I think, has a, a run. And maybe even um, West Beverly Hills has has uh, has uh, a few pairs. But um, you're going to pay 500 bucks for these, which is a lot. Um, so that's like another reason why I think I'm done with Luque Se Ropers is because um, the leather sole, I'd rather have, um, if I'm paying 500 bucks, I'd rather honestly have a Rios Roper because they have that leather inlay on there and I like the heel more on a Rios Roper. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess I could do a comparison of a Rios Roper versus Luque Se Roper, but um, I prefer Rios. Okay, so uh, getting into the close-up of these. Actually, hold on. Take, I had to take a town because um, grouper peed on the floor, so I got to clean that up. All right, time in. Cleaned up the pee. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so just some close-up details. Uh, as I was saying, this they, uh, Red Wing calls this a 9-inch uh, roper, and you can see here the... Uh, Lucese behind it peaking. Uh, they, this is um, 10 inches, um, is what they're calling that. See their difference there. Now, I've worn these a lot, so um, the, I would imagine if I would have worn, if I wore these um, Lucese as much as I wore the Red Wing, maybe the uh, leathers would be a little bit closer. Um, these are quite dark from just, you know, wear and dust and dirt and all that stuff that's been on there. And I, I have, did I treat these? I think I sprayed these with a protective. Um, and I can't remember if I sprayed these or not. I, I think I was just a bit more careful with not wearing these in the elements because, um, they said it was that, uh, suede. And so I think I was just like, okay. I'll be careful not to wear these in the elements versus uh, this meal skinner you can wear in the elements. It's totally fine to wear these in the rain and, and um, snow and all that stuff. And I, on the Red Wing web, or the, yeah, on the Red Wing website, they, they say to treat this with uh, mink oil. But what I did is I just used the eraser and I just sprayed a protective. I didn't put mink oil on these. Um, if any spots, I just used the eraser and brush to brush them out. Um, some of the details on here, so on the shaft. So what I like about uh, the Lucese is like this side weld here in that cream color. I think that's really cool. And then also on the um, pull um, strap here, you have this nice little detail. Let's see if we can get a close up of that. Yes, yeah, so you have that nice little cool detail there and that cream um, side weld is just really cool. And you also, if you look closely, you have some uh, stitching going on on the shaft. So. That's a, a, a nice touch. It, it is, you know, giving it that, their, their Western heritage that um, Lucas has. So it's putting that into, into their roper. Otherwise, it would just be honestly a, uh, a tall Chelsea. And then here, this is just very simple. There's just really nothing to this. Uh, it's just simple stitching here. You know, no uh, side welt, colorful side welt. And, a very simple uh, um, pull strap, and you know up, up, in, up here coming up on the on the vamp here onto the uh, to the um, the shaft. There's just a uh, basically a rounded rounded rectangle going on to keep the the shaft up. Versus here, you have like a pretty cool um, bit of like d design coming up here, little. Uh, detail going up to keep the shaft erect. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so those are just like a few details in here that kind of like give this one the edge to being a bit more um, on the on the dressier side and where you can get away with, you know, wearing this, uh, like I said, on those date nights or at the bar with the fellas or even, you know, taking the old lady out for dinner for, for Taco Tuesdays. One thing that I wanted to say that like the perfect hybrid of these boots to me, if you were to take the 8188 and you're taking this Luque C. Roper and you wanted to take the best of the best and make a boot I have here, this is the Red Wing 1472. Let's move these guys to the side. The Red Wing 1472. Uh, vintage 
Red Wing Pecos. Oop, we got a little piece of something there. Vintage Red Wing Pecos. So this has the stacked heel, which I really like. Has the nitrile cork sole, so you have grip on here. This beautiful uh, leather. Well, so we'll take the whole, we won't, the rough out thingy will kind of like not think about right now because <laughs> that's, you know, two different things. But this beautiful leather, you have a nice side welt going on in a, in a different color, kind of matching the sole. And then in the inside, let's take this out here. It's leather lined. So the vintage Red Wing Pecos, this is a really soft leather that I wanna say, I wonder, I, I wouldn't doubt that this was calf skin in the inside, but, um, and then also here, if you look at the, this, this, you know, quick little design that they have going on, the vamp meeting the shaft, it's much different than the current modern Pecos. So, to me, I think the 1472 is a really nice um, combo of the modern Lucchese, the modern um, Red Wing Pecos, merging them together, and you have this Red Wing. Um, well, this is the. I wish Red Wing would do like it'd be cool if Red Wing did a a limited run on you know some of these like going back and actually. Um, putting out some of taking their heritage and just recreating them. Uh, although they would probably be expensive because this is fully leather lined all the way down to the toe. So it would, I would imagine it would be much more expensive now to reproduce this, but having, you know, uh, a, a chemi gum sole versus the cork sole, just giving us a little bit more grip, a stacked heel instead of just, you know, the, the just, you know, regular cork, um, like ba basically an Iron Ranger sole on this. Um, so yeah, I think this, this is a, a really cool compromise here. Um, but vintage, hard to find, you just can't, you know, track them down, especially in as a beautiful condition as this is. And if I told you what I paid for these, you would, you would uh, flip, you'd flip your, uh, Flip your wig and the dog stole my thingy and I hear him chewing it. So I have to take another time out because that's what happens when you have puppies running rampant. Okay, so um, yeah, those are the details of, let's get back to these details of, close up details of the uh, Red Wing Roper, Lucese Roper, head to head, toe to toe, going at it. Where's that dog? Causing trouble? Where you at? Come here. Now he's chewing my mic. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy. Out of control. Okay. Hey, get over here. All right. Let's wrap this thing up because this guy's gonna chew everything. Okay. Um, let's do the on feet. All right, the Lugese Roper in sand versus the Red Wing 8188 in Hawthorne. It's Red Wing Roper versus Lugese Roper on feet. So uh, these 8188s are, uh, I own three pairs of the 8188s. Uh, these I've kept with the original sole, and these I've had the longest, as you can see, I have some nice uh, patina going on. These uh, with uh, the um, denim that I've worn, they have some nice crocking from all the salvage. Um, I don't know if I want that to happen to these. I don't know because I only have one pair of these. So I was kind of like with these, I knew I wanted to get more so um, I was kind of like okay whatever happens to this uh, 8188 I'm, I have two other pairs so I really didn't mind I um, mean so the other one uh, you know I have the leather stack on and then the other one is is currently at a cobbler getting work done um, but for feel the 
Well, it's a little, I, I could say it's kind of unfair because the 8188 has already been molded to my foot and these have yet to kind of be molded. Um, it's still quite, the, the uh, footbed is still quite new. Um, but the cork, I would say, you know, that impact of that cork, it's much softer than the leather, um, leather outsole and that leather stack. It's a harder impact versus this one, is, it's a bit softer. That heel, heel toe impact is a bit softer because that cork uh, just absorbs a lot of that impact that you have. Um, fit wise, I'll tell you, I can feel in this one, I feel that stitching there, that piece, I feel that in my on my ankle. Um, this one, it's a bit, it's a bit higher. Let's see. Yeah, so my this is my ankle bone here, and this is the stitch. My ankle bone is here, and the stitch is right kind of like on it. So as I kind of maneuver here, I feel that inseam in the inside. I, I can feel it. I don't think it will cause that much of a problem because this isn't as tough as the goat leather. It's a bit softer and this will get softer, but I definitely feel it as I am moving my foot back and forth like that. This one, granted it's already been broken in, I can't say I ever felt any of that stitching, any of that inseam on my foot. I'm curious which you guys, looking at the profile, what you guys think between the two. I know the Lucchese definitely has a much sleeker profile, like going out, going to a bar, going out to dinner. It's kind of like a nice, nicer, dressier vibe to it, especially with the leather stack and that leather sole. And also just the, the side welt here, that's very nice touch to it. Um, you know, these are kind of like, definitely, uh, these are an homage to work, so these were made to work in. Although, Lucchese does say that these, at least the rough out for them, can handle the elements and is made to work in. I don't know how many people would really work in these. I think they would find something else possibly to work in. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, but let's say if I had like some heavy duty work to do, and I had to choose between, I'll probably put these on before I would do these. I kind of would save these for going out and looking good and save these for like doing the work. But um, it's interesting having them both on feet and I can't wait to like go back inside and look at the monitor between the two, having them both on feet, just to see the profiles of each boot. Because um, looking down at them, well, okay, so looking down at them, let's talk about that. Definitely the Lucchese has a dressier shape looking down than the Red Wing. It kind of has, yeah, like the point is more defined. That toe is more defined than the Red Wings. And also the white stitching on the Red Wing. Here, let me just give you guys that. So you can see the toe on the Lucchese has, it's a much dressier toe than the red wing on my left foot. And then also that white stitching versus that nice finished stitching. It's probably, what is it, like dark brown? Yeah, that dark brown stitching on there um, just gives it a dressier look. But looking down the Lucchese to me definitely looks better. Um, and then when I go inside, I'll be able to look at the, uh, the monitor to see the profile of them. But um, yeah, I, I would love to uh, to know what you guys think of the two, and we can uh, decide on a winner in the comments below. So there you have it: the Red Wing versus the Gese Ropers on feet. Okay, so that is the comparison of the Red Wing 8188 Pecos in the Hawthorne Mule Skinner and the Lucchese Roper in Sand. Uh, I hope you uh, learned a thing or two. <laughs>
Um, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you soon with more boots. Maybe another comparison. Maybe we'll throw their West Coast in the mix. Hmm, that could be interesting. Okay. Be a boot. We'll see you guys next time.